Welcome back to Cruiser's Corner. Today I just wanted to quickly show you guys some dirt cheap upgrades I found on Amazon for the Honda Rebel. If you don't wanna break the bank and you're looking for some sweet add-ons, you're in the right place. I'm looking to get a new bike within the next year, so I'm trying to cut corners wherever I can. Cheaper is better. I wanna have some fun with the bike, but I don't wanna invest too much at the same time. I have 11 inexpensive mods, some aesthetically pleasing, some just for functionality. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll drop the links for all the products below. I'm not getting paid for this. I just thought it would be a sweet video. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional product suggestions or if you found a good deal on something, where to buy it, that would be helpful. Number one on the list are Grip Puppies, or some variation of the product. With the Rebel, you'll notice substantial vibration in the handlebars when you're hitting high speeds. At least that's the case for me with the 300. These will help solve that problem. Number two, this handlebar bag for under $30. And it provides a handy compartment for all of your pocket items. It's water resistant, durable, and with a universal fit. For me who uses the Rebel for primarily intercity travel, it's perfect and doesn't cost as much as saddlebags. Number three, this ugly ass seat cushion with a ton of positive reviews. One thing that really sucks about this bike is the stock seat. I guess that can be said for a lot of bikes, especially during long hauls. Not only is it uncomfortable, but you're sliding around a lot. If you're like me and you don't wanna spring for a new seat, this will definitely do the trick. It's a solid option if you're strictly buying for comfortability. Number four, the six speed digital gear indicator because sometimes it's just nice to have a visual cue as to what gear you're in. Maybe that's just me. Looks like the installation for this is a little bullshit, but the final product seems to work pretty good. And it's under 50 bucks. Number five, new shorty levers that come in a variety of different colors. And if you have small hands like me, these are perfect. Someone else in the comments got this installed on their Honda Rebel, so these will fit perfect, guaranteed. Number six, valve stem caps. Add a little personal touch. I think these really finesse the bike. There's lots of different kinds. Fun mod for under $10. Number seven is fuel tank protection adhesives. I sadly already have a few scuffs on mine, either from my jacket zipper rubbing up against the fuel tank or the magnets on my tank bag sliding around. Either way, I wish that I had put these on before just to keep everything mint. Number eight is fork boots and shock covers. These add a nice splash of color to your bike, but also have a functional purpose of keeping out dirt and dust. Number nine, side panel frame guards. These aren't really for protection, I just think they look cool. They're just simply enhancing the design. Number 10, this universal motorcycle metal phone mount, which claims to be indestructible. I really like the design, appears to be pretty sturdy. Extra secure, shock absorbing, looks legit, has good reviews to back it up. Last on the list, but it's 100% my favorite. I just think this looks so cool. This baby blue high intensity rim tape. I think it would just look so dope on my bike. That's my bike. Not actually, but that's what my bike looks like. I think it would look so cool. You could get a valve stem cap that provides a similar effect. That's LED, but this is superior, I think. Hope you enjoyed the upgrades. Again, let me know. Are any of these complete shit? I don't know. I just thought they were kind of cool. Comment down below. You're all welcome.